hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today i've got a contour and highlight tone routine for you as well as duck lips which is scott buns inspired as you can see i'm starting off with a fresh face and i've done my eyebrows here and i've applied my primer and i'm going in straight into highlighting with the graftobian one palette i start off by applying a shade which is uh, my concealer which is two shades lighter than my skin tone and I just apply it underneath my eye right above my cheekbone and I just blend it in areas that you highlight are areas that you want to stand out or to attract light and then areas you contour are those areas that you want to recede and you contour to create shadows this gives the face a slimmer appearance so as you can see here I am blending with my beauty blender when I finish blending with my fingers and I do the same to the other side then moving on I highlight my chin as well because I want your chin to stand out a bit to give that slim appearance to the face and then I highlight my forehead i don't highlight my forehead too much because i've got a big forehead already and i wouldn't want my forehead to stand out because it already does stand out it is just huge humongous i love it anyway <laughs> but then that's what you're forced to say because you're stuck with something <laughs> oh god and then i highlight the bridge of my nose and this is the area you want um, the main attraction of your nose to be at so then I got on to reverse contouring and this is basically applying the highlighting shade underneath areas you'd contour then I go in with a shade that is two shades darker than my skin tone and I just apply it in areas in which I want to create those shadows for a slimmer appearance of the face this will be underneath your cheeks then I'm going to apply that same contour shade on my jawline to make it more defined but with the jawline contouring I don't go a little too crazy because I already have a long face and my jaw is already somewhat defined so I don't want to go a little too crazy with the contouring on this part so I just make it very subtle but with the contouring of the forehead I'm a little bit heavy handed because as I've already said I have a big forehead so I contour to make it seem smaller so I create those shoulders so it appears smaller than it is and then I go into the nose which I like to save for last and I create shadows on both sides of the nose and if you look carefully I kind of cheat in at the tip the trick is to cheat a little bit at the tip and just bring it in more and this will make your nose appear even slimmer then going into my two foundations that I like to mix Mary Kay and the MAC Studio Fix I just mix these two and I start to apply the foundation lightly starting up from my neck and going up to my face it is very important to blend your foundation down to your neck to make sure that they're the same skin tone I just dab the foundation very lightly very light onto the face and this just gives a more airbrushed look and then make sure that the foundation is not too caked up and as you can see some of you might be worried that oh if you highlight and contour first you're gonna sort of make everything muddy or your contours and your highlights are gonna disappear but as you can see they're still very much there my contour is still there very much visible and my highlight as well I like doing this technique because it basically gives the skin a more natural look if you highlight and contour first it's like you glow from within and it just looks like skin because contouring and highlighting is just all about bringing back the dimensions of the face that get erased when you apply foundation which makes you one skin tone 
then I blend the nose area, I apply foundation. As you can see, I am blending up and not blending down. If you blend down, you will drag the highlighted area down and this will make the nose appear bigger. So just going in again, I want a little bit of a dramatic highlight. Normally I would just end there, but I want a little bit of a dramatic highlight. So I'm just going back underneath my eyes and adding a little bit more highlight to make it pop a bit more. Because it's winter, I'm just gonna have fun with my highlight. I really like heavy makeup in winter because it just doesn't melt, stays all day, and like the summer. So yeah, going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I set my highlight. All those areas that I played the two shades lighter and then I take a big fluffy powder brush and I set my whole face using the same powder and that is the end of my contour routine I spray fix plus once I have applied my bronzer highlighter blush and I just go in with the very M lip liner uh, just number seven and using a lipstick that I created myself it's a concoction that I mix guys I just fill in the rest of my lips with it and that is it I hope you like this tutorial please be sure to rate it share and subscribe thank you so much